Put it away. Put it away. Put it away. Put it away. Put So uh, before before milking the goat, we need to clean first the uh, the goat's uh, udder and the teeth, no? So atawag ani mo ni udder, no? The rear udder, the fore udder, and these are the teeth. So lipiyon sa nato sila, and uh, there should be initial uh, uh, milking. So why gawain initial stacks? No? Imilit sa sa, imilit sa sa. Bulaw siya. Sa. So we do that before the actual milking. Okay. So and then this is not the actual milking. Okay. So this is the proper way of uh, milking a goat. Uh, okay. Mm. So this goat has a record of two liters a day. Okay. Uh, maybe 30 minutes. 30 minutes, Mil? No, maybe 30 minutes for the 2 liters. Huh? 30 minutes? Okay. Per, per liter, uh, we sell at 150 pesos. So for one goat, this one, uh, it gives us, uh, she gives us 2 liters a day. So. That makes it 300 pesos a day. For 10 months lactation, that gives us 90,000 90, pesos in 10 month uh, period for one goat. That's for the lac lac lactation period. Well, shoes, well, uh, we get calcium and uh, other uh, micronutrients from the milk. Are they the same like calcium? Uh, same in such a way that the same milk, no? Uh, they they have uh, calcium, but uh, goat milk is actually advisable for lactose intolerant. Why? Because the fat globules of the goat's milk, it's actually uh, smaller than the fat globules in the cow's milk. So that's why uh, some uh, we recommend this one for the lactose intolerant people. Uh, in Cebu, uh, I think uh, Ayala is uh, selling, but uh, it's not our <coughs> our milk because we do not yet produce in commercial scale. Uh, those who want to taste our milk, want to buy our milk, they come here in the farm to get the milk. So other people also uh, make cheese out of this uh, goat milk. Cheese. Uh, it is also a good ingredient for soap with goat milk. <laughs> Not really, because if they feel the pain, probably they would tell you they're in pain. <laughs> you know what? They're not moving. Uh, okay, so that means it's just okay for them. We actually hand hand milk, no, or, you, or hand pump, because as they say. The goats uh, give much more milk when you use your hands. Uh, two years ago, we started here two years ago for the goat raising. But for the milk type of goats, uh, we started just uh, May of 2017. Actually, this container is a 2 liter container. So if you uh, try to look at it, it's more than half already. Okay. How much what? Milk? Money? For 10 year period, for 10 year lactation period, that's around 90,000 pesos. That's why it's better to milk your goats, sell them to the market rather than sell your goats. Yeah? Just like mother's milk. Actually, goat's milk, it's uh, closest to mother's milk. Yeah. In terms of nutrients, this is more healthy than the cow's milk. You like cow's milk more? Maybe you haven't tasted yet the goat's milk. 
I think it's high time for you to taste the goat's milk. <laughs> yeah, we have actually goat's milk there already in bottles. Well, some would like to uh, drink uh, raw goat's milk rather than pasteurized. We need to pasteurize them just to, to kill uh, some bacteria. So that's already around two liters and uh, we have already milked this goat early in the morning so this is the second time around we milk this goat twice twice a day in the morning and in the afternoon in uh, five four to five o'clock actually this goat has kids one uh, female and one male so we call the baby goats kids, just like humans, call them kids, okay? And the mother, we call them dam. And the father, we call them sire. Uh, so this is the dam. Actually, she has uh, two kids. Uh, one female, we call it doe. And an another one male, we call it uh, buck. They suck from the teeth. Oh. So the same with the humans. You, you have to taste goat's milk later. I already tasted it. You already tasted it? now. So the type of uh, this type of uh, goat is we call this one an Anglo Nubian goat. They are popular for their milk. Okay. And their milk is rich in uh, butter, butter fat. So it's good for making cheese. And uh, there are already lotions now with goat's milk. Soaps with goat's milk. And it's very expensive. Yeah, really a lot. You will drink that after, okay? <laughs> it's it's hot milk. Yeah, it's hot milk. It's hot milk. When I drink it, I'm I'm my my <laughs> All right. Uh, for milking goats, they need to eat more protein, rich uh, uh, feeds or legumes. So we feed them uh, corn bran, a yellow corn bran. We feed them also brewer's spent grains, or we call that locally bagasso, and uh, legumes like uh, indigo fera, madre de agua, and ipilipil. What? No, it's not dirty. I mean, not the mouth. I mean, no, no, it's not dirty. <laughs> the, the one he's holding, no, of course not. It's very clean. It's sterilized before he gets it. Okay, na siguro na. Oh, that's that's two liter container. And we just milked this goat earlier in the, early in the morning. So this is the second time around this uh, this is milked. So actually this is around 4 4 liters already for the day. Lango. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> Best milk ever next to mother's milk. Kabunina. Hold it. Okay. Then we bring this to the house for pasteurization before we consume them or we sell them. Okay, I think that would be it for the milking. And then we uh, dip the teeth of the other. That one. That's to prevent infection. Prevent infection.
Then after that, we wipe. And we need to milk the goats every day to prevent infection of the other or the teeth to prevent the uh, infection of uh, the disease uh, that we call mastitis. It's actually a, a it's actually a disease of the other of the gold caused by certain bacteria. Oh. All right. Okay. Okay. That would be it for milking the goats.